us between the faces judging him. Hello and welcome to Dine Audio Unheard. My name is Christopher and I'm your host. Our next group has battled their way through one music competition after another. And now they're here at Smokefest on the verge of their next big step. Guys, welcome. It's nice to have you here. So you've just been in the recording room. What was that like? And it's all yours to battle over the mic. I think uh, we were all surprised at how well it sounded. Like uh, we could just hear it, everything perfectly and our music just really came together in a, in a new way, I think. And uh, yeah, we were just smiling all over with the, during the first playthrough. So yeah, yeah oh, that was really nice. That. And what, what did you think about the whole, it's a, it's not really a, a live performance and it's not really the studio because you have a big, you know, glass panorama window where everybody can look through. What was that like? Uh, it was a really interesting experience that you couldn't like when people were clapping, you could just you couldn't hear it. So it was, it was not really a concert. No. Uh, but it was really nice to know that all of the good things you heard uh, within the studio was also the the things that the people received. Yeah. So we knew that the product we sent out was well enough to, to applaud. Yeah. So, yeah. And um, I want to talk a little bit about when the product is well enough or good. Uh, because you guys are a big group, six members, probably all with their own definition of the word good. So how do six people agree on what a good track is? <laughs> well, it, uh, usually it starts with uh, me, I guess, uh, making the, what do you call it, the, the sketch, the, the, like the foundation for the song. Mm. And uh, when I've uh, made something, I send it to Johannes, and then he makes some uh, some vocals, some lyrics, some beautiful piece of art, <laughs> and then uh, we send it in the in the in the practice room. Yes, yes. in the practice room. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, usually uh, the other guys are pretty cool with what we have. And they just jam it out, or um. Yeah, I mean, they, they get, like, uh, Carl gets uh, a guitar riff or something, and he starts uh, defining it his, his own way. And Lasse uh, takes the drums and defines it his own way. And uh, then we have a song. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, at some point you have a song, right? And yeah. when is it that you then look at each other and say, shit, this is actually really good? Hairs and arms standing up, or <laughs> I guess it's when we all feel like we have done our part mm. and the way we wanted to, and we have talked about it, and feel like everyone thinks each part is very good. Yeah. Les is playing the coolest fills and and uh, Carl has the best effects on the song and so on. I think that's when we feel the song really comes together. Every part is just worked out nicely. So it's a very collaborative piece of work. Yeah, yeah. As as Frederick said, he comes with the the sketch of the song mm. and we just start putting our own uh, personalities in each each instrument and mm. and and then suddenly we we feel things just come it's together click. yeah yeah uh, yeah I also think it's when when we look at each other and just uh, like ask does does everybody feel nice with this and is this a like we just say maybe some people start by saying wow this is this is really nice and then maybe somebody uh, re uh, somebody just uh, says, well, I don't think it's that nice. And then we have to work with, <laughs> with that part of yeah. it. Because then everybody uh, at some point agrees that it's, uh, they feel fulfilled dur uh, during the song. Mm. Guys, I know that your journey to being here at Smokefest involved competing in different 
music talent programs. What was that like? Talk about that journey. I think it was a, a, a bit of a natural journey in the beginning because you just saw these ads for competitions on the internet where where you usually go to uh, see to figure out where to play and then these competitions pop up and you think well let's just uh, well, let's just go there and yeah. then we uh, get accepted into it and then we see another competition and we like that yeah. price is pretty nice also yeah. so let's let's go there so the steps uh, the journey we've taken has included a lot of competitions because that's just always popped up during a competition, whereas, hey, we could also try and win this. Yeah. And then just, uh, yeah, I think it's, it just pops up very easily on, on the internet. So that's also uh, how we just, how we got made as a band, like sitting down in the, in the studio and while uh, waiting in the studio mm -hmm. or having a break, we just like scroll through <laughs> maybe Facebook to see if there was something there. <laughs> and now we're here, so yeah. it works. <laughs> yeah, something must have worked, right? Um, on that journey, how much work did you have to put into this? Is it a lot of hours in the studio or does it come more naturally for you? I think for us, we got a lot of opportunities and then we had to like rehearse for that mm. so it's not like we spend a lot of time in the studio or rehearsing but when give, be given an opportunity like this at Smokefest we take it very seriously and then we just start to to look at it naturally and yeah, yeah. yeah I guess also um it's not because we just uh, practice together all the time. It's it's more than that. We also just uh, uh, practice ourselves, or you know, Carl has a lot of effects that mm -hmm. he is working on. So we don't have to everyone be there to from Carl to make his effects. So so that's also one of the part one uh, one of the things that we we work uh, in different groups. I yeah. I think uh, in just so you are practicing. You're practicing your skill a lot of different places and not mm. necessarily yeah. in the same rehearsing room every single time, yes. right? Yes, Some, sometimes it's it's Frederick and, and Johannes working yeah. on some melodies or something. Mm. Sometimes it's me and Frederick yeah. working in the studio. So it's it's uh, just a big collaboration mm. on, on different levels. And I know that most of you guys, I talked to Johannes, uh, as you probably know, a couple of weeks ago, and. You told me that most of you guys have moved to Aarhus now, which must have made things a little bit easier being closer, right? Mm. Silent yeah. nodding, yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. take that as a yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, Carl just moved to Aarhus, mm. so it's only now that everyone is here. Yeah. Uh, so it's still been pretty hard to find uh, practice days and everything. So the the, the easy part starts from now on. Yeah, I think. Yeah, a lot more opportunity to get together. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cool. Um, on a road to where you guys are now, and I mean, you've come a long way. In a, in what an hour and a half, you guys are gonna find out if you're gonna open Smokefest on Wednesday. I mean, that's pretty huge. Have you had to make any sacrifices to get here? I don't know. Not not really, for me. Uh, but maybe. I, th I think we all made small sacrifices. Yeah. It, it doesn't seem that big to say no to another gig with some one-time opportunity, but. In the length, we had to, to choose whether or not we wanted to play in this band for real or we wanted to just play music because that's what we do. So it's a balance to, to keep it all together, but I think for m myself that I've choose a lot of things. Uh, 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 I, say, yeah, I say no to a lot of things now because I know that my energy has to be put in this. Yeah. Not just time, but you know, all of the energy because it, ta it takes a lot want, to right? be six different guys to make it all work. So, yeah. yeah. 
it it just doesn't come in two days or something. It's it takes a long time to get it all together. I think. I think also because we're so different from where we like our musical background and what we do in our uh, time other than music, it's uh, it's also funny to see how people prioritize their time and sometimes you may not understand why they do it but that's up to them so that's a sacrifice they do personally mm. even though you might not understand it yourself but then you made some sacrifices yeah which the other people don't understand or something so it all comes together but i think in in total we all we all uh, get to some kind of agreement in the end where we just uh, understand each other down down the road i think Perfect. And I mean, it must have worked somehow, right? You're here. Um, my final question, guys. If you had a time machine, if that even existed, and you could go back in times when you started out, and you could give yourselves one piece of advice that could make the journey a little bit easier, what would that be? I think for me, the, the first thing that uh, that comes to mind is asking for help uh, like being better at just uh, not doing ev everything yourself but if you notice a point where uh, or a subject that you're not an expert in mm. just ask for help instead of trying to uh, be the best at, at every part yeah. so uh, if you're having struggle with uh, uh, management or booking then ask somebody who who knows something about it and if you have some problem about making a nice melody ask somebody who knows something about it, then you progress, like yeah. you learn from people who are really good at it. Yeah, <clears throat> and I guess it's that's also why it works with six guys, because yeah. we each of us has has uh, different uh, competences. So, uh, so we can just say, can you help me with this? Because I know you are really good with that thing, mm. so. I think that's why it, it works with having so ma many uh, in the in the band. Fantastic, guys! Thank you for spending some time with me. Thank you so much. There's exactly an hour, hour and a half. I mean, your nerves must be starting to tingle just a little bit. I mean, yeah, yeah. go grab some fresh beers. I'm gonna cut you loose, and I'm um, crossing my fingers. So. Um, also, uh, we yeah. just we just really want to say thank you for this opportunity because we have such a an extremely nice time in here, and we uh, we didn't like, when we came here to play, we didn't even know that this was happening. So just to get this also like a bonus is uh, just an amazing opportunity, and we're I mean, very happy to be here. And it's gonna sound corny that it's going back and forth, <laughs> but I mean it's us. We're just so happy that people wanted to support. I mean, we've we bought three containers that made them to a studio. <laughs> People could have just looked at us and said, why? And I said, no, I'm not going to do that. So we're happy that you wanted to be part of it. And for me personally, that you guys felt you were treated good here and you had a great experience worth every penny. So cheers, guys. Thank you so much. And to all of you, make sure to catch No 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 on YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify, wherever you find your music. These guys are really cool. Cross your fingers in an hour and a half, they're gonna find out if they're gonna open Smokefest on Wednesday.